Have you ever heard of the disease to please? Uh, I, I, I left my head off when I heard that expression. But Zen said it, the disease to please. Zen is Zen the man, by the way. Uh, the disease to please is saying yes, even if you want to say no. So are you one of those people who are likely to say yes to everything and everyone? And then afterwards you're thinking, oh my God, what did I do? Well, anyway, someone asked about it and he actually wasn't the only one because I've been talking lately to someone who does the same thing. So my advice was twofold. First, think about it if you want it or not. And I know what it is like if you're put on the spot. People are inclined to say yes. I mean, I was. And the question is, are you? Um, and if so, no sweat, that can happen. But if you do, and that's number two, and you not note that, that, that not in your stomach, and you're like, mm, no, that feeling, right? Yes, that feeling. Write it down, write it down so you remember it and, and write down why you feel like it and, and what it's doing to you. So be, be specific, so specific as possible as you can be. And if you can be specific, that, that's okay too, but just write it down. Well, if you have the possibility to change it, please do so. And if you don't, again, no sweat. Um, unless it's something life satisfying, of course, um, and just, you know, roll with it. But be aware that next time that you're inclined to say yes again, that you again can uh, recognize that feeling a lot quicker because you have been reminiscing about it. You have feeling it, you have explored that feeling, and that's going to help you to learn to say no. Okay, those were my two cents for today. Talk to you later.